Hi everybody. So today I'm going to be talking about Nutter Butter Truffles and how to make them. Okay, so I'm having at work next Monday, we're having a potluck lunch for Thanksgiving and it's called TSS Giving because that's what I do. That's the people, this is the kinds of people I work with, technology support specialists. So we are doing a potluck lunch where everybody's bringing something. So I decided that I would bring Nutter Butter Truffles. It all started because last year I found a recipe from someone on YouTube who put it out and I was going to try it last year but I got too lazy. <laughs> there were a lot of work so I decided to just do Oreo balls instead. So this year I'm doing it. I'm going to do the work. So I figured I would tell you guys how to do it. So I did have to get some more groceries to do them. And I'm not going to do another grocery haul because mainly all I got was just the stuff to make the truffles. And I just got like some snacks. So like some Gatorade, some pepperoni, um, chocolate peanut butter pretzels, a Milky Way, some Red Bulls, um, more lime tortilla chips, apple juice. Um, trying to remember everything because I got a lot of stuff put away. Um, things like that. So... I pretty much just got like some snacks and then the stuff to make the truffles. So I'm going to tell you guys how to make them in case you guys are interested. Now today is currently November the 14th. So just in case I have no idea when I'm going to get this video up because I got a lot of videos that got to go up. So yeah. But anyway, okay. So first what you're going to do is I guess I'll go over what you need. So you need Ziploc bags, preferably gallon size. And it doesn't matter if they're the slider ones or if they're just like the ones that you just like press them together. So Ziploc bags, wax paper, something to put them on, like a cookie sheet, um, a microwave safe bowl, a bigger bowl, um, Nutter Butters, uh, 16 ounces of Nutter Butters, 8 ounces of cream cheese, chocolate of your choice, Reese's peanut butter cups, um, a knife, a freezer, that's optional though, I don't know if I'm gonna use it. Definitely a refrigerator, a microwave or the stove, and also any kind of decorations, anything you wanna roll them in, like sprinkles, um, broken pretzels. I'm rolling them in sprinkles, so yeah. So the first thing you do is you, so basically it's this, you make them the same way you make Oreo balls, for those of you guys that know how to make Oreo balls, but there's just one extra step, which is why you need the Reese's Cups, and I'll go over that in a second. So. Basically what you do is you take the cream cheese and the Nutter Butters. So you crush the Nutter Butters in the bag and then you put the Nutter Butters and the cream cheese together in a big bowl. You mix them together. Then you take Reese's Cups, the mini, the mini, the miniature, <laughs> the mini Reese's Cups and you cut them into fourths. So I'm not exactly sure how many of those you need. I forget, but you guys can just wing it. So you cut them into quarters and then you take the Reese's Cups that you just cut up and you mix them in with the Nutter Butter and the cream cheese mixture. So you mix that all together and I would suggest putting them in the refrigerator so that they can get firm or the freezer and that way when you make them into balls they're easier to work with. So you make them into balls and then you take a cookie sheet or something and line it with wax paper so they don't stick. So then you take your chocolate of your choice, it doesn't matter how much, I guess it depends on like how many you're making. So you take the chocolate of your choice and then you melt it either in the microwave or on the stove and then you basically dip the balls in the chocolate and then if you choose to decorate them with like coconut or sprinkles or whatever you want, you um, roll them in the sprinkles or, or what you could do is just take a spoon and then just spoon them on. So I'm making two batches so I had to get like double of everything and I got like, I kid you not, like four and a half pounds of chocolate chips because like I can't just like if I run out of something... I can't just run to the store and pick it up. So I made sure that I got enough of everything. <laughs> and if we have any leftover chocolate chips, well, we could use them for baking. And if we have any um, leftover Reese's Cups, well, <laughs> I guess I'll eat them. So yeah. But anyway, uh, that's how you make them. And you let them, you put them in the fridge for like, you know, until they're firm, like an hour, two hours until the chocolate's nice and hard. And then you serve them. So Basically, they're the same way as making Oreo balls, but the only difference is you take is you use Nutter Butters instead of Oreos, and you cut, um, you cut Reese's cups in half 
or not in half, in quarters. And I'm, I'm assuming too, you could also use the big Reese's cups, but you probably would have to cut them into more pieces other than like in fourths. So yeah, but they are, I have a feeling they're going to be delicious. Like I said, I did not make them last year. I got lazy and did Oreo balls instead, but I am definitely making them this year. I already have the stuff. So there's going to be no chickening out. They're going to be a lot of work, but they're going to be worth it. So, yep. So if you guys make them, I would love to hear about it and how you customize them and all that good stuff. So be sure to comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.